Hi everyone, this is Oscar again from Cubicle Ninja and today uh, we're going to proceed now to the uh, our series of tutorial on how you can create a website funnel inside your builder or platform. And for those of you who uh, subscribe to uh, our program, who buy and purchase the program we had, the uh, sales funnel enough, uh, I'd like to congratulate you and for those of you who are not yet, so you still have time to uh, subscribe and get our $1 trial uh, program uh, on how you can create a uh, source of income inside the Builder All platform as an affiliate uh, program that we are offering. Okay, uh, without further ado, anyway, uh, for those of you uh, who subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate. Uh, I'd just like to invite you to uh, visit our channel and also go to our uh, Facebook group, you know, where I teach uh, most uh, of my students on how they can uh, create an online income, you know, passive income uh, using the Builder or platform and other uh, sources like uh, how you can create your freelance business as a uh, virtual assistant and also becoming an affiliate, you know. So without further ado, we're going to go over to our uh, dashboard right now where I do my series of tutorial uh, on how you can create a webinar sales panel, okay? So basically, uh, I'm here. I'm going to go on uh, my incognito mode again. So I'm not going to distract, you know, like, you know, I'm going to go back and forth here. So as you can see last time, uh, we are here and we are kind of like uh, editing my client's account uh, on her uh, presentation for her webinar, okay? So... Just bear with me because uh, our computer is kind of like a little slow again today. So, all right, there you go. I, I think uh, last time we did tackle uh, on how you can um, upload the video. And I think uh, we're still going to work on that because we don't want to go over to the back end where we edit the, the webinar itself. Uh, what I kind of like to do is uh, go and concentrate uploading all the video that we have here and i'm just showing you uh, what we have from the last video that uh, we did so as you can see here yes we did uh, upload her uh, kind of like a welcome uh, note and we have here this scarcity uh, if you still remember if you are following my tutorial as well as the uh, offer that she had here and the uh, call to action button where uh, they can go after subscription. And we don't, we're not going to do the form yet because normally it should be done in the uh, back end where you can edit the entire um, webinar funnel. Okay, so we're not going to do that. What we need to do right now is... I think we're gonna. I'm gonna go over check the other uh, site that I have here. Like I'm kind of like uh, duplicating what I did in the past, you know. Because otherwise, I'm gonna get confused. Uh, how will I get started? Because I never, you know, get back here. And I just started this uh, tutorial uh, recently. Anyway, uh, again, I think we need to go to the uh, replay when we're, or we're going to go first, I think, to the webinar uh, broadcast. That's what we're going to do. And we kind of like wanted to up upload her video, okay? The actual video itself. Remember that this, uh, the panel, the, the webinar panel is, Evergreen, it's called evergreen, meaning it's been recorded and you just wanted to have it on your website. So anyone who uh, going to purchase, you know, the, the going to your uh, webinar presentation and whoever uh, wants to buy the product, you know, uh, 
they can do that anytime, you know, even if you are sleeping, you know, that's the power of, uh, you know, creating a webinar funnels. Okay. So first I want to go, uh, I want to check what I have here on my template here. So I need to create a kind of like a, like a button here that I need, you know, so I think I'm going to have to create a, uh, a blank template first, and then I can do, let me see if I could find a, a right funnel or a right template here that I could add on, you know, inside this uh, funnels that I'm working for her. So let me see if I could find kind of like a red template that I don't need to, you know, start from scratch and it's ready why not right so you want to kind of like uh, try to make you know your life easier right so we have already template here that we just kind of like wanted to you know just drag and drop them and it's done you know why it takes so much time right so yeah kind of like just the internet is kind of like you know uh taking so long so just please bear with me i wanted to see if i could grab a template that is that has let me see this i think we could do this since we already started the the same format as we have here or i can grab this i think this one is a lot better mm-hmm or we want to be kind of like uh, uniform on what we're doing, right? We kind of like we wanted to do the branding. So I might as well going to have the same same format as I have on my other pages. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do right now here. And I just want to resize my space here because I'm kind of like, you know, a little tight, you know. This is what I'm saying. So I can move around, right? So all you need to do is, you know, click this button here. I'm pretty much sure if you guys are following my tutorial, you know what you had to do. Okay, so there you go. I think I'm just going to move it over in there and stretch the size, you know, so I can move around. Because I need to add some more content here, right? So I'm kind of like, it's better to, you know, have a space that you can just, you know, move your cursor around. Otherwise, it's going to be like you're tied up. You know what I mean? There you go. I want to go all the way here because we're going to add more content here. We need to have the the actual video presentation later so for now i'm just kind of like i need to add like button here that's what we need to do for now uh i wish i could have all those you know the the one that i have before if i could find those button uh, again, just bear with me because this computer is acting really, really weird and it's taking forever to, you know. I want to just delete this because I don't need this. I'm pretty much sure I don't need this. So I'm just going to remove this out of the way. And I don't think I need this as well. I just need a kind of like another scarcity that uh, I think I would have to copy the, the one that we create already. And I'm pretty much sure. Let me see this other. Yeah. I need to upload. This is a video, right? I don't think I need this. So here's what we're going to do. We want to move this over here because we might gonna need an uh, an HTML code where we can put the 
the video later and I'll explain that to you later. So first what I'm going to do is I just needed a kind of like, because this is going to be the layout, an iframe, okay? So I'm going to grab this iframe here. I'm going to leave it here for now. And we're going to, for sure, we're going to use this later when we created our, the actual webinar, you know, the, the schedule and when it's going to be live, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to leave this here for now. So I know I won't forget this, right? So I'm just going to center this. There you go. I want to center this so I know where I need to put all my content. I'm pretty much sure you guys like, what is that? Like you have no idea, but later on as I'm doing my presentation, uh, you will see what I'm kind of like, what I'm doing here. So I'm going to take this out because I don't need this. I'm, I actually need an image, you know, where I can have my, the other elements that I could add on. And for that matter, I need some kind of a, uh, uh, what do you call this? A uh, like the uh, the payment process and all that, and the registration or registration or buy now button. You know, so that's what I need. Uh, let me see. I need an element, and I need this button here. This is what I need for from at the moment, and I want to go kind of like I want it. Yeah, I think we wanted to have this, replace this. Let's see if it's going to fit or it's, does it look like, I think it looks nice, right? Or maybe red, red would work, I think. Let me see. Where's the button? Okay, element button. Let's try the red color. We want something that will stand out, right? So let's try this. And also I want something with the card. That's another thing. So, and anyways, <laughs> I'm so dumb. We can actually change the color here. Okay, anyway, let's give it a try. Uh, uh, see, you can actually change the color. Let's say I want to have something like red thing that will, you know, at least somehow will stand out, right? So let's see if it's actually changed at all. So why it's not changing? It should be changing for some reason. I don't know why, why not, you know? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna keep it that way. I don't wanna s spend so much time by doing that, so. We'll keep it that way and we just want to change the, what is the content that was there. I don't want to uh, be kind of like, you know, uh, uh, straightforward, like buying the, the program right now. So you want to uh, add something like register now, but it's kind of like almost the same, like they're going to buy the product, but I wanted not to be kind of like, uh, what I'm offering is like a product that the a physical product that they can just buy. So what I wanted to do is probably uh, have them registered, registered now. Okay. But it's also have the, uh, the payment process where I have the, how much will, will be to register, you know, you know what I mean? So I just want to, I don't want to be like brutal, you know, like, buy now and you know i don't think it's nice to offer them this is not the physical product we are offering here so i would do registered now i think that's the appropriate uh word you know for for this that i'm selling because it is a course okay a, or a program you know what i mean so it's up to you uh however you want your like color palette, your branding. So it's up to you to do that. So for now, yeah, I think 
that's what I need. And another thing is the I need to get some image because I need to have something in there, some kind, some kind of like a proof, you know, like a, a, you know, a visa. I, I forgot what what do you call that, but you know, some some kind of proof that the uh, the process will be legit. You know what I mean? So okay, we're gonna go and grab the. Image, we need to find image. So, the gallery, no, 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 this is not what I'm looking for. Picture or image, images, where is it? I'm kind of like, image, it's right there. So blind. Okay, now uh, let's do this, grab this, and I want to replace this where I need to grab what I was. I am looking for, and this is, hang on, hang on. Just bear with me. I think I I already have it on my folder inside the my uh, files. Oh no, oh yeah, I don't have it because it's my client's file. Oh no, yes, so I'm gonna go over to my, now it's gone, all my, I did some I did some cleaning on my files last time so it doesn't show up here anymore. So what I need is there a way I can have that? No, cuz I'm in my client's account. Okay. So I guess I guess for now I'm going to leave this this part and here, I'm mean, I just gonna have to add some content, you know, because I can't find what I want here, you know, the images that I need. And in order to do that, I need to be on my uh, my own account, and I'm in my client's account right now, and I can't grab those uh, images or content that I need. So for now, I'm just gonna have to, let's say. Uh, I'm going to work on this content right here and replace this one here to hang on. Just bear with me at this. We did something today. Part of uh, this tutorial I'm doing. I need to uh, delete or uh, yeah. Because I need something like um, hang on. Stay tuned because this is the what do you call this? The web webinar broadcast where you're gonna have your uh, presentation. Stay tuned after this webinar presentation. You will be up in. You will be up in to another page, to another page with all, just bear with me, with all the information on all the benefits and value If you invest, if you invest, if you invest in this program. So you kind of like uh, wanted to tell uh, for those of those uh, who participate on your webinar to, you know, not just leave the, the, the page and, you know, uh, because on the other page, there is also like, you know, the value or what you have to offer, you know, it's kind of like uh, what then, uh, and the purpose of this register now button is to let them purchase, you know, what you have on your presentation. That's the whole idea. It's kind of like uh, the webinar is you want to sell your product even while you are on the 
internet. You know what I mean? You can literally, uh, you can literally, uh, you know, ask them to purchase your product. You know, because it depends on how you're going to have your presentation. So your presentation is the key. You know, to sell any kind of product. So you need to be have an out, outstanding uh, presentation that people would be like, you know, kind of like get interested and enticed to, you know, buy and join the program that you are offering. All right. So, okay. So that is the, the one that we need. Uh, we kind of like just want to leave it like that. I mean, the color, because it will stand out if we leave it that way. And later on, I can always, you know, uh, let's say, make it like bold. So it's going to be like, you know, a strong emphasis, right? Like you want to use an appropriate uh, fonts, you know, I think Muli Black will be the best, right? So, yeah. And we also need... This thing here, I just need to add this again. Uh, I need to duplicate this. Oh, no. What I did? Let's see. Yeah, I need to duplicate this. And we were just going to replace this to. And I, as I've been telling you, you know, I need the images that I need here. And next time I'll try to uh, upload that. And I don't have it on my. Uh, my files anymore because I did some uh, cleaning, you know. I sort out all my files and it's gone. And it is only in my uh, files inside the Builder All platform. So, okay, uh, what do we need here is click the registered button now, button before the timer runs out. Why is that? It's because we just gonna add, we will add uh, an scarcity button here. And I'm pretty much sure you guys know what is the scarcity button and we did that. And I think we're gonna have that here. And I'm gonna save it for now. I'm, I'm gonna tell you I'm going to show you where is the scarcity button because we did already in these uh, panels, webinar panels that we did last time. So I'm going to go over right here and click the webinar registration. It's so slow, so... Please bear with me. This is the scarcity button that I need. Okay, so in order for me to have this is, of course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, you know, the entire. Let me see if I have already. Let, let's see if we have copied this before. I don't think so. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I want to grab this or I might going to, you know, have this as well and put this to the other pages that we are working on right now. So in doing that, to make your life easier, I'll give you a good technique how to do that, right? Just click this pencil button here and we will going to copy the entire page, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, click the advance and here we're going to have to name it webinar registration okay so what it does is it will save the entire funnels the entire panels you know and you can literally add this on which pages that you're working on okay so meaning you can just literally have this you know into another page so reload them what you're going to do is save it twice and then repress your uh, dashboard and let's see if it's uh, saved. Let's check this one. Go in the panel. See, the webinar registration shows up here, meaning we can literally grab this and have it on the 
this page that we are working on, which is the webinar broadcast page. That's what I'm kind of like telling you. Okay, so it will make your life easier, right? You know, if you do this way. So what I think I need to do is refresh this, reload the entire page because it doesn't appear here. So I'm giving you a secret, you know, to, to make your life easier. And it's that's only on my Facebook group page, master group page, and that I'm teaching and coaching all my students, you know, with this secret uh, way how you can edit properly and the fastest way. Okay, so go and click the personal and here, click the panel you see right there, right? So what you need to do next is click the plus sign button and there you go. You can see that we have this thing and you know, there's a lot of things that you can do here. You can literally, I think I can literally take this out and, you know, maybe I can have this, but no, I think uh, I, I would prefer to have that one. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the scarcity. This is the scarcity. So I don't need to create a new one. It's because, why? The time that I have in the other page, which is the this one here, the webinar registration and the scarcity that I have here is synchronized. You know what I mean? You know, the, if I would grab another like uh, scarcity button, I have to synchronize what. So to make my life easier, I'm just going to grab the whole thing. You know what I mean? So that's it right so there you go i put it right there it's gonna end registered now you see can see the scarcity here registered the uh click the registered button before the timer runs out so they, they you kind of like giving them like, the feeling of if they're not gonna do register right now in, in an hour and a half the promotion is done and most of the time they actually uh you know Take action, you know. Uh, I've seen a lot of people, you know, uh, interested buyer like, oh, you know, I need to to uh, register now. It's because you know there's only one hour and a half in there, you know. And and, and I've noticed that, and and I experienced that from them. Okay, so so basically that's what just what we need here. I think so, right? Because this is the broadcast presentation. Okay, yeah. And I'm going to take this out because I, I no longer need this. I only need the um, scarcity. And as I told you, I'm just going to leave this blank uh, right there. And the HTML, it's because we need something here. Uh, and we'll go back in this tutorial because the only thing I need here, I think, is we need to... I think we still have time and, you know, we can upload the actual video presentation of my client, you know, and we're going to go to the back end, okay, where we do edit the, yeah, aside from that, I think we can also do the one-time payment only, no, okay, here's another thing, I think I think Builder All has their own kind of uh, button where we can have the the payment fulfillment uh, kind of like a badge, you know, that we can use. Wait a minute, just bear with me. Just bear with me. Button, button. Where's the button here? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so I think, let's see and check this out. No, no. I think it's somewhere. I just don't remember. I'm just going to go back. And for now, I think we're just going to leave this. And we'll come back because we don't have the complete images that I need, right? So for now, this is where going to be where the presentation video will be in place. But... 
at the moment I can't do that. I can't do that because it need to be added inside the webinar panel dashboard, and you will find that out uh, later on our, uh, you know, the next video that we gonna have. Okay, so I'm just gonna save this for now. Save it, and you wanna, you know, save it twice just to make sure. Okay. There you go. Save one more time. And we want to check that. Every time you, you are creating a new pages, it's good to, you know, double check them. It's if it's already on live. Don't don't delete this yet. Uh, what you're gonna do is go here. This is where we editing, we edit our you know the page that we are working on and go to the website page. This is the actual live page right now there you go as you can see i think this is where the the html is not showing up of course or oh, see uh we got this click the register button the scarcity and the actual uh, register now button and here and next time we're gonna add uh you know the complete content that we need from here so it's okay we got that one and let's go back to this thing that we are working on. Uh, I want to delete and leave here, get out here. I don't need to be here. And what we need to do right now is we're going to go over to the actual, actual page. Okay. The webinar funnels and just bear with me because I need to find the files, my client's files. Uh, yeah, it's right there. So we need to up upload the video, the actual presentation for her product, for the business that she is running. Okay. So I'm going to get out of here. I, I don't need to be here. And this is where what I've been telling you where we need to edit the webinar. Where is it? Here, the webinar builder. Okay, let's get there. And I think this it's about time now that we need to add, you know, and create. Oh, no, 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 we're not here yet. We don't need to be here yet. It's, it's too early, okay? So what we need to do is go to the video hosting because we need to grab the uh here this is what we need oh no 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 <laughs> bear with me where is the video yeah right here so i need to go here and upload the video the webinar presentation i think hers is like uh around an hour and a half presentation so here I need to go to the Seagate backup and I'm gonna grab the Zolo Zoom. Okay, open. And then I'm gonna name this Atomy, that's her company, Atomy Sherlyn webinar. Webinar presentation presentation okay that's it just bear with me you know because uh, it's still uh, uploading it's actually easy you know this the I think I realized creating you know I've been mentioned this before Creating a webinar sales panel is a lot easier because you're just going to need your presentation. It's kind of like one, two, three video. And the layout is very, very simple. The only thing we're going to have, you know, some probably it's not really a technical or, you know, you don't need to be tech savvy because as soon as you can see what I do, you will literally understand and you can apply it on your own 
uh, let's say if you wanted to create your own sales panel. And uh, I'd just like to remind you that uh, creating a webinar sales panel, if you go in other company, they're going to charge you a lot of money to create you know, a professional look like this one we have inside the builder row. And this is what I am, you know, I'm really, really, I really appreciate the builder all, you know, the, the, the tools, you know, that they have. If you're kind of like uh, an agency or, you know, affiliate marketers, OMG, you, you, no other, no other platform that can give you all this, you know, awesome tools, you know, if you are doing uh, kind of like affiliate marketing or any type of business or you are an agency, don't go anywhere other than Builder All, okay? So, yeah, we, we're just going to click this button here. Okay, and let's see this. There you go. Okay, so this is, as you can see, this is the registration video, and this one is the um what do you call this the atomy sherlin webinar presentation this is the one so what you basically need to do is embed you know embed this uh the video itself right so take this out and i think we're just gonna have this Copy this video. I hope I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Copy the iframe. But wait a minute. Um, do I need to have this? Just hang on, just bear with me. Okay, we're gonna have to put this in the, uh... yeah, yeah. So I think that's what we need to do. Uh, we need to embed this, embed and have it in the iframe, okay? so. Next thing we need to do is go over again to the uh, webinar broadcast and we just need to uh, have that video right here. Okay. Do you remember this? This is the iframe, you know, HTML where we can have this video. Okay. So, Basically, you're just going to click this editing software, edit, editing elements right here. And then under the general, okay, the one that you grab, the, the embedded, this is the embedded iframe code. You just need to, you know, paste it here. How simple is that, right? So simple. And then click apply button. There you go. It's right there, right? But I don't think this is the right thing that I need to do. I think I should do this on the replay, not right here. Yeah. So there's another thing. This is not the one. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I beg your pardon. Uh, we don't actually need this here. Okay. With Hello everyone, good morning. Um, this is Sherling Wang speaking. So but, um, today I'm going to um, talk about a presentation about uh, Atomy in Canada. But I'm sorry, so, I beg your pardon with that. You know, I'm only human. I, I also made mistake. Okay, so that's not where we need to put that video actually. Okay, because we need to have the the video that comes out from from the webinar final dashboard and that's not what we're gonna go in that we, we don't need to go there yet we don't need to go there yet um i think we ju we just gonna skip with that and instead i know where i can place this and that is on the replay page that's the thing you know i'm sorry i beg your pardon i'm doing this live this tutorial i'm doing it this live so it shouldn't be in the webinar broadcast it should be in the webinar replay because 
in the in the webinar broadcast uh, they need to wait you know and and register in order for them to see and watch the the video presentation so there shouldn't be an, a video right away in there i will you will find that out as soon you know as we go along on this full video series tutorial because yeah i made a mistake i admit that it's my fault it's my bad so here this is where we need to have the presentation under the replay under the replay page that's the time we need to have that video okay and here's what we're gonna do again uh you know what i can do here um let me see just bear with me I can have the the panel, the registration panels, because it is the same format as what we have, you know, and any other, see, right here, we have ready one here. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We take this out. Okay, we don't need this here, because this is the replay. We don't need this here. Whatever content that we need here is, I'm going to add next time, but, one thing for sure, this is where the the that video should be, <laughs> not not in the webinar presentation uh, page. Okay, I apologize for that. So, okay, so there you go. Take that out. We don't need that. We don't need that. There you go. So now, okay. This is the reg registration video. Registration video, as you can see, this is we wanted to have the other video, which is the webinar presentation, because we want to have our viewers or her viewers to, you know, kind of like uh, invite them again through email marketing, through email process, uh, letting them know that they can still avail they can still avail the the webinar you know but it's on the replay mode at this time so that is the purpose of it and still they can also still buy and purchase the product that you are selling and for now just to finish up this video i'm just going to have to you know um end that up here so the last thing that you need to do is go over again to what I've said, right? This is the webinar presentation. Uh, click this button here and embed the code, which is the one that we have here. And what is this one? So we want to take this out of here, get this out of here. Okay, so here, this is where we go, okay? Instead of the registration video, we want to add the the webinar presentation on the replay page okay so we're just gonna remove what we have here as you can see we're trying to replace what's in there and you're just gonna click this button and there you go okay there you go is this the one yeah i think this is the one yeah so this is basically the replay version the reason why it, it shouldn't be in the webinar uh, page is because under the webinar broadcast page, what they will see is kind of like a, a registration button. Once they registered in, that's the time. Where Hello, they... everyone. Good morning. Um, oh, this is Sherling what... Wang speaking. And so um, today I'm going to um, talk about a presentation about uh, Atomy in Canada. So, uh, Admi was founded in 2009 yes, uh, yes. from South yes. Korea. So, this yeah, is Admi, president and founder, Han Ji Park. So, this is the Admi building, which is located in uh, North Korea. And this it. is a very famous building, Korma. Um, this is a very, also fam very famous building in the Korea. It's like called it's Korea Admi. Uh, and the research institute. And so what is the Atomy I'm talking about today? So Atomy is the Korean company that was founded in 2009 okay. and then distributed is... the supplement to him or him and his own brand of the and premium gonna... cosmetic. Delete that because, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not right to, you know, 
keep it running while I'm talking. Okay, so yeah, that's how basically it is. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we're gonna check the replay. And there you go. So this is the her presentation. And remember, we're still gonna have to add other content here for uh, anyone who visit the the replay, they can still also buy the pr the product and purchase the product that she is selling. I hope I'm making sense here. I'm sorry for that uh, kind of like confusion I did earlier. And yeah, as I mentioned, you know, we're, we're only human. We made mistakes. So here, uh, we're just going to keep, you know, holding on to this because we need to be in the webinar dashboard when we create you know, the webinar presentation that we can attach here. So uh, I hope um, this tutorial really makes sense to you and you've learned a lot on how you can create a webinar sales panel inside the Builder All. And again, see you on my next video. Have a great day. Bye.